My name is Dragon. Editor Dragon. With you on night day. Here is the main news. Follow up. One, Sydney Sweeney, 27, claps back at Assumption fiancé Jonathan Davino, 40, pays her bills. I provide for myself Sydney Sweeney, 27, has asserted her independence in a recent Glamour interview. Refuting claims that her fiancé, 40-year-old Jonathan Davino, financially supports her due to their age difference. She emphasized her success and hard work stating that she is the primary breadwinner in their relationship. 2. Kiki Palmer told La Roche he was not the best stylist for her. Didn't quite work out, Kiki Palmer and La Roche have had a complicated but affectionate relationship regarding their styling collaboration. During a recent panel for Roche's book, he shared that Palmer once told him he wasn't the best stylist for her, despite his reputation. Although their partnership didn't initially succeed, they reunited to create a look for her during her pregnancy. Roach appreciated her honesty, stating, You might be the best stylist in the world, but you're not the best stylist for me, highlighting the mutual respect and love between them. 3. Meet Haley Jade's husband. Evan McClintock Haley Jade Mathers announced her pregnancy with husband Evan McClintock on October 3, 2024. The news was first revealed in Eminem's music video for Temporary, where Haley gifted her father a Detroit Lions jersey that read Grandpa. She later shared photos from a maternity shoot, showcasing her and McClintock in a kitchen setting while holding sonogram images. 4. Halle Bailey and DDG break up less than a year after welcoming son Halo Halle Bailey and DDG, Daryl Dwayne Granberry Jr., have ended their relationship less than a year after the birth of their first child. DDG announced the breakup on his Instagram story, stating that the decision was difficult but believed it was the best choice for both of them. He expressed appreciation for the time they spent together and the love they shared. 5. Travis Kelsey may have subtly paid tribute to Taylor Swift in Grotesquerie debut in his acting debut on the thriller series Grotesquerie, Travis Kelsey hinted at his relationship with Taylor Swift. In a scene, his character, Ed Lachlan, mentions he likes Pop-Tarts without the frosting, which fans interpreted as a reference to Swift who had previously baked homemade Pop-Tarts for him and his teammates during the NFL season. 6. Leah McSweeney's lawsuit against Andy Cohen, Bravo will be argued in court this month Leah McSweeney's lawsuit against Andy Cohen, Bravo, and others involved in the Real Housewives franchise is gaining traction, with a court date set for oral arguments. McSweeney, a former star of Real Housewives of New York and Ultimate Girls Trip, alleges that the defendants intentionally caused her to relapse in order to increase ratings. This case marks a significant moment as it is reportedly the first time a cast member's lawsuit against the reality network will be heard in open court. Unlike previous cases by Nene Leakes and Caroline Manzo, the judge will hear arguments on a motion to dismiss the case on October 30th. 7. Garth Brooks claims he was hassled for millions of dollars prior to sexual assault lawsuit. I do not fear the truth, Garth Brooks stated that he faced intense pressure and threats for millions of dollars before being sued by a former employee for sexual assault and rape. In a statement, 
He described the experience as feeling like a loaded gun was being held to his head, emphasizing that any form of hush money is still hush money. 8. Cheryl Hines may divorce RFK Jr. But it'll be over Donald Trump more than Olivia Nuzzi Cheryl Hines is reportedly considering divorcing Robert F. Kennedy Jr. primarily due to his support for Donald Trump. Rather than his alleged sexting with New York Magazine writer Olivia Nuzzi. Sources indicate that Hines, a lifelong Democrat, is more troubled by Kennedy's alignment with the MAGA movement than his past infidelities, which she was aware of when they got together. 9. Nikki Garcia granted restraining order against Artem Chigvintsev after his domestic violence arrest. Nikki Garcia obtained a restraining order against her estranged husband, Artem Chigvintsev, following his August arrest for alleged domestic violence. In a sworn declaration to a California court, Garcia accused Chigvintsev of physically attacking her in their Napa Valley home while their four-year-old son, Mateo, was present. She described incidents where he tackled and pinned her to the ground. Garcia noted that Chigvintsev's behavior had become increasingly aggressive since his departure from Dancing with the Stars. 10. Drew Barrymore reveals she shared the sexiest kiss with Chloe Sevigny in the 90s Drew Barrymore disclosed on her talk show that she and Chloe Sevigny shared a kiss in the 1990s at the Sunset Marquis Hotel in Los Angeles. The moment occurred after a long dinner where they discussed a story that inspired the film, Boys Don't Cry, in which Sevigny starred and received an Academy Award nomination.